So, um... No... What a, what a, what a what? What a big what? Bathtub, you say? Um, okay. Chat, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Wait, what? What am I doing? Oh. I know you're excited, March. I can see it in your eyes. Uh, where are you thinking of going? Ah. <laughs> Good for you. Um. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But about Robin, though. Hmm, strange. It's sketchy. Could she be tired out from her cosmic concert tour? Insisting on performing under such circumstances. Miss Robin is a superstar among celebrities. Yeah, it seems like it, yeah, from what I've heard. And from what I saw, obviously. About the event. <laughs> yeah, that's so great. Who knows? Maybe we'll even witness classic scenarios like family feuds, tragic losses, worlds torn apart, espionage <laughs> situations, rivers running red with blood, stuff like that. This is simply too thrilling. So, te so technically, any uh, kind of movies under the sun, right? Uh. <laughs> to want to see a river of blood. Well, <laughs> edgy. Edgy much? You got quite the active imagination, Pi. I, I, I almost. I almost said Paimon. But no. Uh, you've got quite the active imagination, March. I don't know. Maybe you can sway that reality into your dreams. Who knows? And that's enough chit chat for now. And I mean, I hope. I don't want to see Himiko in a precarious or dire situation. That's for sure. But um, yeah, uh, sweet dreams, uh, March. We'll see each other in the dreamscape. A thick and hazy fragrance behind. The th uh huh. Perhaps you need some sort of permanent to unlock the door. Premium perfume. A scent of flowers. Alright. Interesting. Uh, hello. Miss. I don't want to enter the room just yet. I want to explore a bit. So this is another one. Another one. You cannot fall asleep? Really? I keep being unable to sleep. Hmm. Then you cannot access the dream state. Yeah, I get ya. So it seems like I'm missing um chests. Two of those actually. I guess I'll uh Yeah, I guess I'll uh find them eventually. I guess I suppose so. Can I go into the, the elevator? The elevator goes to the endless overflows of the hotel, but you have no desire to leave right now. Right, right, right. Sure. Um, well, let's enter the dreamscape. Why is my room door open? Aventurine? What? Is it you? What? Uh, 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 
Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I'm doing. I'm, I'm, um. I have to change my team right <laughs> right now. This is not fitting. Um. I have to. I have to, I have to do a quick uh, setup here, if you please. Um. So of course, the Trailblazer, obviously. Um. Uh. March. Where are you, March? March. March. You here? Um. Welt. And um. I suppose a uh, Bellas one. No, oh, Bellas one. Black Swan. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm saying this. I'm sorry. Um. Um. Is there anyone else that I have to add? I guess, um, guess we'll see. Um, mm -mm -mm. Alright. Now for Tilius. <laughs> we meet again. Yeah. And, <clears throat> excuse me, adventuring. But, yeah, we meet again, friend. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a sist an hour ago, it was still me. Yeah, I know. I know. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea. How much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. <laughs> you were the one who arranged this session? Look at his eyes. They are mesmerizing to be to be honest. I think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, okay. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? What do you want to talk about? Ah, cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. Well, simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. Yeah. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. Well, I already had that, I think, with Clipath. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? That power? Is he talking about a Stellaron inside me? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Mr. Stellaron. Yeah. Have I hit the nail? <laughs> I knew it. 
How did you know? <laughs> I know nothing. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. <laughs> of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. Hmm. I cannot make this decision on my own, you know? Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. <laughs> oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality. And the way you do things. Then a chip is tossed to the end and flick of an eye disappears. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. Oh? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine because... game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise, huh? And no other choice. Hello, friend. Huh? What are you doing in my room? What? I'm sorry, um, Antron. Quite sorry about that. <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. Well, I do that a lot. You better know. Think about it. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. Yeah, sure. Same to you. Thank you. Why haven't you left? I don't know. <laughs> I just take it easy. This is indeed your room. I was just passing by. Huh? I'm trying to find my own room too, and I heard a commotion here, so I came to take a look. Luckily, your door was open, or it could have gotten dangerous. That man looked like he was up to no good. I have a strange feeling about this. Anyway, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room too. Yeah. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. I wish to know. Do you remember me? Have we met somewhere <laughs> before? Oh, déjà vu? Yes. It was a dream. I had a dream on my way here, and I think you were in it. You blinked at the sob in my head. Hmm. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Do you still remember me? <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory 
it's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Acheron. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. I don't know. In Pinatoni, you never know. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death. And they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut, eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. Mm -hmm. That is all I can say. You all right? I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Goodbye. See ya. Acheron left. Very strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> didn't take long for a reunion again. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All those hallways really look the same to me. Sure. You show her around the way. She sends you again and again. Again and again? Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the dreamscape passes instructions. Right. Adventuring Sojin. A token of the interastral peace operation. Remember the envoy played a little trick with it. A new sticker obtained. Nice. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> you said the same time. Uh, Destiny is like Fred and must be snapped when necessary. Dream Tour Handbook. I think I've seen that somewhere. Yeah. And here. So now I can put another stitcher. Use this stitcher and put it um, here. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. Well, let's go back. The hearth again with the fire inside. I saw a chest earlier. Welcome to Penacone, honored guest. Uh, thanks. Wait, I've switched. I saw a chest. 18 year old cooling the room. Right. Investigate. What is the most precious moment in life? Listening to music while enjoying soul life, of course. This device right here lets you enjoy both. Collect. Lust's Princip. Oh, cast away all pain. Once you fall asleep, it is time to join the Endless Carnival. Okay, so apparently, there's no chest here. Alright. Well, it's time. Let's in. Dive into the dreamscape with Jever, guys. Alright, well. <clears throat> dream. You approach a dream pool and you hear the sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room, fragrance permeating the air. Together, these two elements envelop you in, the embra in their embrace. The scent is sweet, profound, and luxurious. Reminiscent of ripened fruits in a distant ocean painted by the hues of a setting sun. Perhaps it's time to enter the dream. Lie down in the dream pool. You tell your body, lying down the center of the dream pool. The icy liquid rises above your waist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear, accompanied by the tolling of evening bells. The wild wind rustles through the barren plains. While nightingales, seagulls, swans, and ravens add their symphony to the choir. Pendulum swings. You wonder what dream you'll delve into 
and slowly drift into drowsiness. There you go, guys. There we go. Oh my. Doctor Ratio. You're late. By four minutes and sixteen seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact: the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and. Your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? D where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. <laughs> oh, it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sagonian thrall sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? Hmm. <sighs> give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler arrest Penacony back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my rules. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate. Perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. Right. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. It's possible. Or someone else made the invite. And they acquiesce to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. Not yet time to reveal my trump. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sagonian upbringing? Then, do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. I did not mean to offend. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Avgens. Under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Let's see. The 
Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang, I uh, can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her. Huh? <laughs> oh, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, it seems like I'm on my own again. So there was a chest. I don't know. So this is the dreamscape? Yep, seems like it, yeah. The atmosphere here creeps me out. What was that weird noise just now? Yeah, uh, Mikhail, I think. That's what she said. I don't know. Investigate the unfamiliar room. Okay, let's continue lurching around. Investigate here. Note. A note. Watch Matrix's advice. The impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it, and then you shall be granted an audience. Yeah, but... thought I heard a familiar voice. Is it coming from the painting? This door appears unappellable, unappellable for this side. The painting. Enter the dream's shape. Oh, hello, Misha. Oh, I, I thought you wouldn't notice me. I, I did. Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. We meet again. Huh? You remember me? Of course I do. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't be. Change, so it looks a little run down. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I see. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. Right. Uh, what happened to the reverie? Oh, you're asking about the reverie in the dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. Uh, what is the uh, golden hour? You perhaps read about it in your dreamscape past, but I can explain it one more time. Mm -hmm. Golden hour is one of the twelve dreamscapes in Tenacone, and its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Hmm. It's always nice in Tenacone. doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with reality. So don't worry. Okay. I just I just um picked up a note. A note? Did you find it in the room? Yes, I did. Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? Nope. <laughs> it was my mistake. I failed to tidy up properly <laughs> and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. Chill, 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 Visha. <laughs> How do I get to Golden Hour? You just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. I wish you an unforgettable dream. Well, thank you, Misha. Thank you. Can I talk to you though, Jen? Right through that doorway is Golden Hour. If you've any other questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Sure. Uh No, I have nothing else to ask, it seems. I wish you unforgettable dreams in Penaconia. 
Well, thanks. Uh, let's do it then. <coughs> what should this base? Wow, so beautiful. And it's only the entrance to the dreamscape. Wow, okay. Behind this door is the real Fenaconi. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, me too. All right, enter the dreamscape. Okay, now let's see. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Don't fall from the sky. Midnight, and you crashed into the ground. Ah, uh, Robin and Sunday. Uh, yeah, I think I I broke my neck or knee or ankle. Uh, I think I think I'm hallucinating. Hmm. It seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Hmm. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. <laughs> Robin gives a slight nod to her brother, then locks her emerald gaze with yours. She smiles and you see rip shimmering in the depths of her late green eyes, followed, followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. Your vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one with the fluidity of the time-space. You resonate with and become tuned to the serene fusion of frequencies. Your heart drums, leading with symphony. Quiet starts. The chant instant compels and the stagnant fluid in your chest begins to flow down. A gentle warmth emanates from within, saturating every inch of your being. Your melodies slow down, fade away like a lullaby. A seven colored illusion literally terraces the top of your head and closes your eyes. Its movements tender and compassionate. You feel contentment and drifts into a deep slumber. You open your eyes and feel a vitality like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing moments earlier feels like a distant memory. What? What does that mean? What? What did you just do to me? The state of mind. of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by Memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. Hmm. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's a great analogy. I did it now. Thanks for the compliment. In fact, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria, huh. unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection. 
like Black Swan. Thanks. Got a message from March? Today's awesome. <laughs> hey, awesome. We can send messages even in the dream. You there yet? But now. Yay. I just tried to touch with Fumitro and Missy Yang. They all went to different dreamscapes. I'm at the moment of dust and plan to check out the auction. It's John Pia paint me up again, so why not we split up for now? You had the golden hour? I hear the Dreamscape sales soar. This, they are super famous. Can you please shoot it out for me? Really please? If it's really fun, then I'll head over there next. Okay, if you say so, March. The Dreamscape sales soar. Should I visit it? Hmm. This place is bustling. There are so many people living in the Dreamscape. Re Real Tense Princip Bid farewell to all rules. Once you fall asleep, you no longer need them. Trailblazer in Dreamscape Big Squanderer what stands before you is the golden hour. Benetroni's pulsating heart. Tell me, what are your first impressions of this city? <sighs> uh, I mean, at first sight, yeah, I fell in love, but. I love at, at, it's love at first sight between you and the golden hour. Who wouldn't fall in love with a place like that? Most people fail as you do, which is how Penetroni managed to draw so many dream chasers. Read all the troubles that have ever ailed you and enjoy the charms of the city of festivities to its full. Though, do remember to keep some wits about you, lest the city swallows you all. Okay. Well. Classic Soul Grand. A note sticker about happiness. Uh, the street is populated by people, though none of them young, from all walks of life, with indeed sense of happiness they have in the realm of reality. Okay. Just done an achievement as well. Um. You have arrived at the incredible land of the dreams, the dreamscape. Well, it's time to have a tour. 32? 32 chests. Just that. Alright, I'll uh... What is this? Collect? Doctor Ratio? Even if asked by thousands of people, the answer will never change. It's Doctor, not a PhD. I'm sorry, Doctor Ratio. Brian, uh... See... If there are any things that I should really look at. There's a chest, for example. The first of many. Investigate. Hmm. The store sells the same exact merchandise as the one opposite it. 
competition must be fierce between the two. Look at this place though. Dream Peach Call. Peculiarly designed telephone is fixed in its place, waiting for tourists pass by to pick up its receiver. Rain, rain. Good evening, Steam Jazz. Would you be interested in making a Dream Peach Call today? What is a Dream Peach Call? Wonderful question. Please allow me to introduce you to the wonders of the Dream Peach Call, the new guest. Just insert a small amount of elf. Alpha credits, and the phone will automatically search your contacts for a sleeping friend and allow you to listen to their dreams, and let you know what your friend is dreaming about. Isn't it thrilling and fun? This sounds very ethical, right? The phone suddenly emits a crisp ring, leaving you certain whether it is a taunt or a hearty laugh. Ring, an ethical party door in Pinatoni. I must admit that your joke is quite refined. Dial the Dream Peak Call. <sighs> okay, well, let's see. Dial tone. Rain, rain, rain. The Dream, the dream Peak Call connected. You're about to hear Bronya Ron's dream? Bronya? <sighs> that wouldn't work. Seal it, don't. Holding your breath. Don't use so much force. Thoughts contains any crafts mother gave me it could break easily. I see. Why didn't you mention it earlier? Fine, I'll leave it alone for now, and you'll move it to yourself. The blood takes an unexpected turn, leaving you both irritated and frustrated. You hang up the phone. <laughs> Rain, thank you for using the Dream Peak Call service. Please come back next time. Thumping heart. <laughs> Agreed here. Manifestation of the emotion angry. The dream shape. It can be used to repair people's emo dial and recover their lost emotion or memories. Sound of chaos. Okay, well, I think uh, that was a fanfic that everyone wanted to have with Bronya and Zilla. But, uh, yeah. What did. Is he barfing? Yeah, it seems like it. Look at the cars there. Nice. So glad billboard. What's special about so glad? Whoever answers correctly will get so glad for free. Uh I can't go about my day without drinking it. Well said, you're clearly a loyal fan of Soul Lad. Here's your Soul Lad. We've always treated our loyal customers well. Sales Rep Consumerism will always find a way to override your rationality. Oh my god, this. this. This is terrifying. <laughs> get get away from me. Oh wait, is that trash? This is trash can. <laughs> there are even trash cans in the dream? This this traveler turns into overwhelming joy and rushes to your head like a punch. When you return to your senses, you've been enveloped by in a sugary mood with a lingering sweet aftertaste. Deja vu? A trash can. <laughs> Ah, who would have thought? Trash cans everywhere. Other than the usual trash, it is also a tradition for people's discarded emotions. You can discard emotions here, it seems. Um, who's. what's.
chest here. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Dreamfeed Troll here. Particularly designed telephone is fits in place, waiting for Chirps Pass Pass to pick up its receiver. Uh, dial the Dream Pit Troll, I suppose. Dial zone, rain, rain, rain. The Dream Pit Troll connected. You are about to hear Silver Wall Street. Okay. What an impressive stretch. It's expected at top speed. So, overall, Ether Spirit effortlessly overcame her opponent to train another easy victory. I hereby declare the champion of this year's International Tournament Festival, Silver Wall. You heard thunderous cheers from the receiver. Silver Wall standing in the center of the stage and reveling in the moment, shouts for Victor's line. Ethereum was ors activate. It appears that Silver Wolf is still frustrated about her loss in the previous tournament. The other day, without any pay to win elements, is something that only appears in dreams. Green, thank you for using the Dream Peak Trial Service. Please come back next time. Happy Deer. Manifestation of the emotion happy, the gym shape. All right. Well, this is This is an automated slow lad dispenser machine, Truman Penetroni. As you approach, the dispenser on the machine suddenly falls, spraying so loud over you. In fury in French, or it would simply be nothing who knows. Look around, but don't find anyone to venture. So, entry motion. Uh, what about this one? This is your exclusive parking lot at the Reverie. The ownership is permanent at zero extra charges. You can park your car here. Get away from me. Hmm? Whoa, this sports car is so cool. Yeah. Can I, do, can I do there? Popcorn food truck. No matter where you're going, penetrate, you know how the bucket of popcorn is a pastime. I think, I'm, I think I'm getting distracted, guys. I think, I, I think I'll just stick to the story first. Oh no, he's doing faster than me. Damn it. Investigate. Dreamstreep specialized fire extinguisher is not filled with salt gas. Salt lead. Well, okay. Investigate. I was set to low in the dark, but the golden hour is always well lit. So there's no chance of using them. B star. Animal lover. The little Arctic bear cub watches you with its head tilted, flapping its semicircular ears. You're certain no one can ever resist a cute, fluffy critter. Not to mention that it's waving its cute little stumpy arms at you as if to ask for a little bear hug. How did you say no? <sighs> hey Don, something isn't right. You only just realized something isn't right. Have you recovered yet from the rashness of your blind impulse? Did you know, didn't you notice that this whole time the sign hanging above the creature doesn't say Art it better bear job at all? Ooh. Take a deep breath and don't get excited. At least they aren't angry right now, and you still have plenty of time to think about mitigation strategies. <laughs> Explain what you just did. Seeing as they have just displayed themselves as an altered bear trap, it's not technically wrong to use a corresponding method of petting. But if we decide to, maybe we should, we should just scuttle? About life. What is life if one can't dream of reckless abandon? Cash is pure. After a crisp sound, blank notes will fall like a flurry of snow. 
trash spewer. Do not try this at home. Ordinary national economies. Alright, what if I decide to... Yeah, I okay. While you're desperately searching for a solution, the little chub falls asleep. Fine, look at this, uh... The animal enthusiast doesn't mind being treated like an animal after all. Alright, let's uh, have a look here. Oh, there's a collectible here. Dreamscape Tourist. Okay. A uh, family merchant. Hey, Jid. Welcome. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Thank you, though. Uh, appreciate it. Mm, I have a trash can. This gate is like opening a lot of loot bars. You never know about how to tend inside this building when you open the trash can. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well. Let's see. Uh, what is there to see, I suppose? In the chest, I might see first. These so glad billboards. So pretty. Let's up in yeah, okay, so this is uh, still the same. Cash pure. You thought you needed to recite some spell to make the machine work, but now it seems like you only have to stand in front of it. Alright, alright. Um let's go. This is so pretty. I'm going away, don't mind me. What? A floating ice cream? You stuff the cone into your mouth, having the sour and, the sour and sweet flavor of the cream. That's yummy. What about the next one? How can you stop at just having one cone? You put another cone in your mouth and savor it. The last one? Drone that wants to live. Stop! Do you really have to eat me? The ice cream get along in peace. Uh, what am I going to eat then? Th th this is for you. Please let me go. Float this burger. <laughs> Dreamscape sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? Seems like it, yeah. This is giving me a. This is giving me a. <laughs> the uh, big brother is watching you. Burger. You spend the first five minutes completing how to take the first bite. Well, let's go to the story. Doctor Edward. Mm. How do you know who I am? Hmm. 
Is this the memory of Achilles? Listening. Who's speaking? When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial was unable to transmit the voice of Aki Hmm. However, I can make some adjustments to your dream bubble to improve your experience. Even meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Aki Villain. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with. I like the distorted effect that uh, Dr. Edward has. Does it have to be the voice of someone close to you? Let me see who else. Yeah, myself, of course. Yes, I plead guilty. Yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> you barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed to 
Do you bleed jelly? <laughs> Did Soul Red really exist in that era? These had to do with Agivili. I once expected something like this. Don't even know the price, but I'll buy it. Hundred thousand. Yeah, we can. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Nameless is memory bubble, an unusual dream bubble set to contain the dreams of Achivali, a fallen eon. I'm sorry, I truly am the worst nameless in the world. This represents a way to make money by doing nothing. They have died. They still live. Firefly? Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Um. Uh, how did I help? I like the music here. Nice. Oh wait, I have to find them? Okay, well. Again, the ill manifest. You 
can still walk Try away. Hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. So glad for Vel. That's enough, boys. Is that Jalahad? Jalad? No, Jalad? Jalader. Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer, sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. A lad with silver hair? Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. That's no biggie, I suppose. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Wow. Right. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. <laughs> Who? Who's the silver-haired guy? The Bloodhound family are guards at the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. Mm. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. Sure. <laughs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <laughs> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. Well, thank you, Dillinger. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. 
Well, I'm happy to help. Thank you so much. By the way, I just noticed you're an alias, right? Is this your first time here on Pentacony? Yeah, it seems like it. How do you? Uh, are the nameless really that famous, though? travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Well, sure. Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. Iris. I'm a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. Wow. She's really cutie, though. As a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I, I happen to need a tour guide. Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. <laughs> Over here. It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. Yeah. This side of paradise. Imagine a dreamscape where you have total control over yourself and can attain every yonder wonder imaginable. Well, ladies and ladies around the world, I think this. Oh, oh no, no, wait, wait, collect. Gallagher? Okay. <clears throat> oh, I have a stitcher. Sure. Um, but yeah. Oh, and a treasure chest. And another stitcher. Oh my god, uh, I'm sorry. I just need to get all those. Global Central Station. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> That's at least around the world. Thank you all for tuning in today. And I hope that uh, this entry into the Dreams Tape together has been an eventful one. Well, to me it was, at the least. Uh, seeing adventuring being so mm, intriguing, let's say. Doctor Ratio being Doctor Ratio, obviously, and Firefly being a duty. We saw Gallagher, and we saw how it is to enter the Dreamscape, and we have many more adventures. I sh I'm sure waiting us here in the next stream session or video on YouTube. Obviously, we will continue to follow Firefly as as a well. A participant in the dreamscape and we will uh, let her be our tour guide but yeah that's been all for me today guys if you like the content make sure to leave a follow also uh, leave a like on the side of YouTube subscribe and hit the notification bell for another video in the future regarding Hontai Star Rail that's been all for me guys you've been awesome and I'll see you all in the next video bye guys